This Lens Studio tutorial will walk you through the top five lens optimization and troubleshooting tips. These tips are applicable to any lens on Snapchat, Community, and Sponsored Lenses. Before we jump in, let's define what we mean by Community and Sponsored Lenses. A Community lens is a lens that reaches Snapchatters organically, meaning without any ad spend. A Sponsored lens is a lens that has been published to Snapchat with ad spend behind it to serve the lens with a targeted approach. Every submitted lens is put through a series of automated tests on a variety of device models as part of the lens review process. These tests will verify if your lens runs smoothly to ensure it works for Snapchatters across many devices. Occasionally, a lens may fail testing due to a crash or a performance issue that may not be immediately apparent. Let's jump into the top five optimization and troubleshooting tips that can help you find these issues and address their underlying cause. Tip number one. Test your lens on a physical device. Lens Studio can catch some errors, but it's not able to detect every issue that occurs in Snapchat when it's used on a variety of mobile devices. If you're not sure how to pair your device with Lens Studio, check out our guide on pairing your device. You can pair more than one device to Lens Studio for more robust testing. Once one phone is connected, you can press the down arrow button next to the Send to Snapchat button and press Pair New Account. Links to all documents are available in the video description. Tip number two, QA your lens to check frame rates per second, memory usage, and size. These three factors play a crucial role in lens performance and the quality of a Snapchatter's experience with the lens. So let's break these down. When you're happy with your lens creation and with your device paired to Snapchat, send your lens to your device and tap the bug symbol at the top left to see lens performance. FPS. You should target 30 FPS for your lens for the best viewing experience, but ensure that it is greater than 15 frames per second on most devices. If your FPS are higher or lower than recommended, it could be due to a number of factors, such as the number of render targets, anti-aliasing, the use of ML components with Snap ML, materials, textures, and VFX used in your lens. Check out a link to a detailed guide that gives an insight into optimization tips to address FPS. Optimizing your lens's RAM usage has many benefits. Reducing memory pressure ensures your lens can best run on lower-end devices. Using less RAM means using less memory bandwidth, which reduces heating and battery usage and can also improve the frame rate. Using less RAM can also mean faster loading. To help improve your RAM usage on different devices, you can make adjustments to the object count, textures, 3D animation, vertex animation, and 3D animation length. Check out a link to a detailed guide that helps you understand how to optimize the factors that affect your lens's RAM. Size. The current size of the lens on device. Lens sizes should be less than eight megabytes. The rule of thumb is, the smaller the lens, the more performant it will be across a variety of devices. Remember, you can utilize remote assets to fetch assets on demand at runtime and reduce the size of your lens. Tip number three, repeat tapping. With the lens pushed to your device, tap rapidly around the scene for a few seconds. Make sure to tap in various places on the screen, except the carousel or any of the Snapchat buttons on the edges of the screen. If there is an issue, this tapping will cause the lens to crash or return a script error. Pretty simple, right? If your lens passed the tapping test, congrats. If your lens crashes, it is likely a memory issue. If you have a script that runs on tap, limit the number of objects created, sounds played, or objects stored. Tip number four. Take a snap and test the lens startup. With the lens pushed to your device, select and deselect your lens repeatedly in the carousel. If there are no issues, record a video by holding the snap button for a few seconds. Snapchat should display the video shortly after. If Snapchat freezes when either of these actions are taken, while you are flipping through a carousel or when you try to take a video, there is likely a performance issue with your lens during startup. If the video freezes for a few seconds, it may be due to a memory issue. If Snapchat completely locks up, Please reach out to Lens Studio support at lensstudio-support at snapchat.com and provide a copy of your project and steps to reproduce the issue. Check the video description for Lens Studio support contact information. Tip number five, check custom scripts. Your lens will be rejected in testing if one of your scripts produces a JavaScript error. If that happens, the testing system will provide an email with details on the error. However, if your scripts cause an error in the lens engine, it will not return a full error message. In that case, please refer to this list of common scripting issues available in Lens Studio documentation. In conclusion, if you create and publish sponsored or community lenses, this video should help you learn how to QA and optimize every lens. 
Optimized community lenses have the potential to reach and engage more Snapchatters, and optimized sponsored lenses will provide the best Snapchatter experience and performance for any brand. Remember to check the video description for links to additional documentation. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next Lens Studio tutorial.